Tokyo Rain. Today it is the coming of age day in Japan, and I wanted to show a few clips from my journey to Tokyo in January of 2010. Not all of these clips are about the coming of age day, so this will just be a mix of random clips. And uh, you would say that I actually know this area pretty well right now, and I actually do. I have visited this, this temple now for quite some time now. But the thing is, when you walk through this gate, you see this huge, I don't know, dragon-like thing hung out there and I'm pretty sure that's, qu that's quite new I mean if you compare this image with this image you would say there's something quite different about it um, it probably has to do with the New Year's Eve it's the January the 4th now so um, New Year's Eve was uh, four days ago and um, each year a lot of uh, Japanese, and with a lot I mean hundreds of thousands, uh, go to this temple to uh, pray for a good new year. And even yesterday, which was... Um it didn't have to do anything with new year actually. They renovated the Senjuji temple during that time, so it looked like this. You could still enter the temple though, as they were working on the rooftop of the temple only. Before this temple. And uh, I'll take a look inside just to see how it is. Because I've ne never actually have entered the temple before. So, uh, it's the first time. the first time I've ever been here. In here, like. Everybody's throwing in money and uh, play a little bit. So, um, I'm probably going to do that too. Well, here goes nothing. This was a few days after New Year's, so the stands where you can buy snacks were still there. The, um, the thing about Asakusa is that it's very, very peaceful and very quiet. All right, and now it's also quiet because it's very uh, early in the morning. But what I mean is, um, when you spend like a whole day in Tokyo with all the technology and all the loud sounds and neon lights and that stuff, it's actually quite relaxing to come home after a long day of walking at a peaceful and quiet neighborhood like this and um, because I've been here uh, already so many times I really liked my hair during that time I had not visited a Japanese hairdresser yet but I had the luck that a Dutch hairdresser actually did a very good job 
it feels like coming home. As I said before, today it is coming of age day. All the girls that become 20 the year before will wear a kimono called a furisode. The unique thing about a furisode is that the sleeves are very broad, and I learned that a furisode is a kimono for a single girl. Whether they mean with single that she has no boyfriend or that she is not married, I do not know. You see some boys who turn 20 also in this traditional clothing, but theirs is far less colorful and elegant than the clothing of the girls. And then, in this quiet little street, when you walk here, you see another vending machine. But this vending machine, as you can see, Asai, and Asai is a beer brand. You can actually buy beer from this uh, vending machine, or Jido Hanbaiki, as it's called in Japanese. And if you look at the size of the cans, they're really big. If it weren't for uh, the morning now, I maybe would have taken one. But um, nah, I'll just leave it at here. But if you see, it, it, it's like 230 yen, and that's like mm, counting euros about maybe two euros or something. So for 500 milliliters of beer, that that's actually a pretty good price in my opinion. And next to it is the regular, um, regular soft drink uh, vending machine. You see here that all the electric cables are above the ground. I was told that the reason for this is that there are more than 400 earthquakes every year in Japan. So it will be troublesome if the cables are under the ground. Theoretically, I already need to have experienced an earthquake, but I never noticed one. Maybe one happened when I was drunk, so I did not notice.